I got interested in vets because I tend to like animals that are maybe under appreciated maybe animals that go under the radar so i usually like the insects the the bats kind of things that you might not see and uh, people that might not know about so that's why i kind of have the passion because i feel like those are the animals that we really need to appreciate um, the bats actually eat quite a lot of our pests and uh, the insects that we don't like like the midges the mosquitoes um, so they're hugely beneficial and people kind of forget about that so they might come from the hedges so I do think they might be living somewhere here in the trees. What I try to do is teach the community about biodiversity in a, an interesting and hands-on way, which is why we are doing this bat project, where I train the community on how to look for bats, what they look like, how to hear them and how to survey for them, so that we can give that information to the government agencies, to National Parks and Wildlife Service, so that they are more aware of what's out there and how to help the conservation of bats. Um, and then you go to 35 for the pipistrelle, which is really fast and you can always kind of see it like a swift. Because bats are a protected species, um, Ireland actually has a legal obligation to track their numbers and the presence of species in Ireland. Bats actually are present in cities. Uh, some people might have bats in their own attics. Um, yeah, even though they might not like that, I think it's great and that you should befriend them. Uh, but yeah, today uh, we are in Greystone, so we will be looking for different species. We will be listening to their echolocation calls using a bat detector and then surveying and taking notes. Their primary benefit really is to do with the population of pests that we have. And that's also to do with the agricultural sector um, so that we don't have to use as many pesticides. So that was a Leisler. Um, globally, bats are also important to pollinators. So they eat fruits and seeds and they're really important for that reason. I think in general, just having an understanding of biodiversity in a, in a whole 360 view is really important. And having your own understanding and awareness of what biodiversity is and how to truly support it so you don't fall down that alleyway of what's trendy right now. Do they spot them? Yeah. I think when it comes to development, we really should be considering bats. And we should be thinking about them just like other species that are in decline, such as swifts. So when we're creating developments, new buildings, we really do have to consider that. And that's also part of the project. Even the trees that have been dead for a long time, they're a great potential roost space for bats. Um, so it's really about thinking about nature in new ways. It's really about looking at are you potentially getting out of something that might be really important for certain species? Um, and what can we do to make sure that that doesn't negatively affect the populations?